What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so... <laughs> it is time. What a good day for Friday, right? We're gonna be taking on the Pokemon League, and you know what? There is a very, very good reason to why I saved those four rare candies. And it's for this particular reason, because I managed to train up Joust, Raiden, Dalsim, and Vesuvius up to level 49. That way we can get them all up to level 50. Yes. The majority of our time was uh, training, you know, both uh, Sage and Hadouken up to level 55, 56, whatever, what have you. That way we can be ready for this Pokemon League. Now, the other funny thing is that, yes, we managed to, uh, what was it called? Uh, we managed to teach some of our Pokemon some new moves and everything strategic. Be strategic and all that stuff, yes. And, yeah, we're going to be going with Vesuvius right here, level 50, and there we go. Bam. Yep, we're ready to go, and we taught our Pokemon in quite a few different moves. So, this all led to this whole thing right here. Yeah, the Pokemon League. So, let's go ahead and uh, have these guys check us out. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Training, uh, trainer, let us confirm that you have a, uh, yeah, we, we, yeah, we have, yeah, we have confirmed. Okay, so we are, we are confirmed and all that stuff. Anywho, we're gonna be moving forward, and, uh, it is time. Okay, so, here it is. We are in the Pokemon League, and we're gonna be staking on Sydney first. First thing is, we're gonna be switching it out to Dalsim right here. Now, it is kind of a risk using Dalsim, because, well, it is a... Fighting and Psychic type Pokemon. That Psychic type portion, yeah, not gonna be pretty cool and all that stuff. But let's go right ahead and do this. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that. You, uh, I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's a good look. Real good look. Real a uh, real good look. All right, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Alrighty, here we go. It is time. So here it is, guys, our very first battle in the Pokemon League, and it's against Sydney. And he's going to be coming out with his Mighty Enna. Now, if you guys do realize this, yes, Dark type Pokemon do like to mess with your stats. They do like to mess with just basically everything that you got. Now, as you guys can see right here, I did change up a few moves from Dalsim, and that happens to be I taught it Psychic because it needs Psychic. And I brought it back, uh, Calm Mind, because yes, we need Calm Mind. And, well, look at us. Yes, we have defeated him. Oh, yes. And, uh, well, we're getting some points. And here comes Absol. Now, it's kind of a... yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, we're going to be careful with this one right here because, well, high jump kick. Yes. It is a very, very powerful move. But, you got to also realize, too, that it is a risky move when you don't hit the Pokemon. And here comes a shift tree. So let's go right ahead and go straight for Vesuvius right here. Let's get it. Alright, Vesuvius, how's it going? Where you at? Finally at level 50. Okay, so here is shift tree, both a grass and dark type Pokemon. Eruption will be its game, and of course we're going to be getting uh, swag, so mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah not, I'm not liking this right now. And, well, here comes a confusion. And we are confused. Come on! Come on, hit it! And, yes, eruption. You... You screwed yourself. Yes. So there it is, guys. Eruption for the win. And just like that, we have defeated Shiftry. How do you like me now? That's right, you don't like me that much. Okay, Hadouken get some points. Vesuvius get some points, too. And here comes a Crawdont. Yes. Pokemon that I kind of wanted to use at the very beginning, but yeah, you know, um, I kind of thought against it because, well, yeah, I kind of wanted something better. So here is Crawdont, and, well, let's go with a Thunderbolt because, well, yeah, knowing my luck, Thunder's going to miss, and yeah, we're going to be angry, and here comes Thunderbolt for the win. How you like me now, Crawdont? Yes, you have been defeated, and Hadouken getting some more points. Cacturn is coming out, so... Let's go back to Vesuvius himself. Now, let's see. Let's see. Vesuvius, you're looking pretty cool. Pretty strong. And, well, it is finally time. Let's go with an eruption right here. And, oh my god. There it is. Eruption for the win. And there you go. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> 
And, well, there it is. We have defeated him. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty, so that right there... <laughs> that right there is a very good victory. We we swept up and defeated uh, Sydney, and he's gonna be like... <laughs> well, listen what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes so far, or to go far. Now, go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Alrighty. Bring it. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna definitely enjoy this one right here. So let's go straight up to the next room. And this one right here is a ghost type room. Oh, looking scary and all that crud. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Jouse. Yes, Jouse, it's been a while. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him. And, <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training at Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So, come on, just try and see if you can even inflict any damage to my Pokemon. Okay, alrighty. So, here we go. Taking on Sydney herself, and she looks like she could be in Alola. So, here she comes out with Dusclops. As many of you guys already know, ghost type Pokemon, they like to mess with you too. And here comes a Protect. We're going to speed that up because, yes, Protect again, speed that up, and there we go. And here comes a Curse Attack. That eliminates Dusclops, but it inflicts Joust. Holy crud! Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be feeling that for just one little turn, but we're gonna get experience points, and she's gonna be coming coming out with Bayonet. So let's go straight for hmm Bayonet. You know what? Let's go with Raiden. So let's go ahead and switch out, and there we go, Thunderbolt yet again. Let's get it. Let's go. Finish him. Finish him. There we go. And, oh, wow, Bayonet keeps it, 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 it's it's still there. So here comes a Shadow Ball. It hits us pretty hard. And, of course, Phoebe is going to be using a full restore to heal up her Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and continue on with a Thunderbolt. Yes. Thunderbolt for the win. Hopefully. And that paralyzes uh, Bayonet. So chances are, nope, she's not going to heal her Pokemon. So there we go. Thunderbolt. For the win, and just like that, we win another uh, another ghost type Pokemon, and Hadouken grows to level 56. Here comes Dusclops. So now that we switched up our Pokemon, Joust is going to take the lead right here. And well, let's go right ahead and see what Joust can do. Joust, time to bite yourself some ghost type Pokemon. So let's go straight for the. Oh wow, I was about to say uh, Crunch, but yeah, you know what? Waterfall does it too. And that doesn't do much. And here comes an Earthquake attack. That really sucks. Okay, so we are safe. So let's go for the Crunch attack. And just like that, Crunch does it. Dusclops has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. And, well, let's see. Sableye is going to be coming out. This Pokemon is just a weird Pokemon. So we're going to go with the big guns right here. Hadouken, ready to go. And I did teach it a, d a brand new move, and that is Toxic, because, well, you know, it eventually will learn some different kinds of moves. You know, I can teach it some more elemental moves when I can. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use a Toxic Attack. That way, you know, this, this gives us a little bit of a heads up or a lead, a step forward into defeating Sableye. Sableye, of course, going with a Shadow Ball right here. Hitting us, and that will lower our special defense. So we have to work quickly right here. And remember, Toxic definitely, uh, yeah, to Toxic uh, lowers the HP every single time in a much more worse way. And as you guys can see, in this next one, I think we're going to win it. And that right there, its evasiveness has fallen or has gone up. And, wow, we nearly beat it. Okay, so more than likely, yes, she's going to be healing up her Pokemon. So that poison's gone away. And, well, here comes a Dragon Claw. And that nearly defeats this Pokemon, so let's go with the Dragon Breath. Yes, we are fast. And just like that, Sableye has been defeated. Yes. Okay, so here comes another Bayonet. Let's go back to good old Joust. That's right, Joust. I like to call him Joust because, you know, you guys ever played uh, 007, Goldeneye? You know, the character? I would always say Joust. I don't know why. It just sounded fun. Alrighty, so here we go, Crunch Attack, and that right there is a one-hit KO, say goodbye to Bayonet. Yes, we win. That's right, we win. And, well, 
She's like, oh darn, I've gone and lost. Yes, you have lost. Alrighty, so there's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see you go. I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. That is true. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. We bought ourselves quite a few full restores. Sold uh, most of the the items that you know restored our HP and all that stuff just for this. And well. The next battle is going to be a little interesting because it's going to be full of ice types. So let's go with Raiden, just because some of these ice types do have water capabilities. So let's go right ahead and do this. Alrighty, so we're going a step further. Here it is. What's up? And well, hello, hello there. Welcome. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from all uh, afar uh, to Hoenn, so I may hone my ice skills. But all I've seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. Now, she's calling us weak. Alright, time to uh, time for her to catch all these hands, all these Pokemon hands and all that stuff. So here it is, we're taking on Elite Four Glacia, and she's coming out with Celio, this Pokemon. Big and blubbery. Time to take this Thunderbolt for this big and blubbery Pokemon. Look at this. And this one will beat it, yes. Celio defeated. Now, a little bit of a little bit of a story going into this whole thing right here, guys. Um, when I first took on Glacia, didn't know what to expect and all that stuff. I remember being a you know a naive kid, always using the Master Ball for you know the legendary Pokemon, not knowing that well there is a roaming legendary Pokemon you can catch out there. And uh, yeah, my dumbass when I was playing Pokemon Sapphire would always capture Kyogre. And, uh, you know, didn't even bother to see anything else. And are you serious? Okay. So, we're gonna beat this Pokemon right here. And... I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so, my bad, guys. Just a little phone call. And, uh, yeah, does it, it doesn't really sound like I'm too happy about it. But it's just, it is what it is. Good phone calls, bad phone calls. It doesn't steer away from this. So, anywho, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. We're about to take on some wall rain right here. And as many of you guys already know, it's the the name says it itself, Wall Rain. It reigns supreme in every single one of these lands right here. And uh well when I faced Wall Rain for the first time, I believe I, I, I got cut off at the at the at the what was it called? Um I believe I got cut off at the story of Kyogre and all that stuff when I was playing Pokemon Sapphire. Now, when I was playing Pokemon Sapphire, obviously, you know, um I was, uh, what was it called, uh, I was a dumb kid who only used a Master Ball on the legendary Pokemon, not knowing that, well, yeah, you got another legendary Pokemon, Roman, and this guy survived, but he is paralyzed. Of course, what's-your-face is going to be, I think, I think this person's gonna heal it up? Nope. There goes Raiden, okay, so that right there is bad. So like I was saying, guys, um, yeah, capture the Kyogre. With the, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, Kyogre with the, whatchamacallit, the, the Master Ball. And obviously I was using Kyogre as one of my strongest Pokemon. From there, if you guys, uh, if you guys were to check, I would have used Kyogre as the one Pokemon to beat all these, uh, all these Ice-type Pokemon with its Drizzle and Water-type attacks. Mainly because, well, yeah, good old Draven didn't really know much about type advantages, eh, uh, and, uh, you know, all these uh, special effects and whatnot. Yeah, I was that dumb. Anywho, as you guys can see, Dalsim ready, kicking, and there we go. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Glalie has been defeated. And, uh, well, we get some more points right there. And she is about to come out with the Sea Leo. So I'm going to test my... Uh, I'm definitely going to be testing my... Uh, what was it called? My luck again. As you guys can see, yes, we do have Hail. We're going to be hit by that because, well, you know, we're not a nice type Pokemon. So here we go. High jump kick for the win. Eat it. I would say catch these hands, but he's catching these feet. Dalsim, you're finally winning. Congratulations. Look at that. Oh, yes. Dalsim, points. Hadouken, points. Glacia, L. That's right. You and your Pokemon. How hot, or how hot your spirits burn. The all-consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to harm you. You gotta love the puns, you really do. Okay, so advance to the next room. And there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Elite Four. Okay. 
So we had one Pokemon fainted. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, get this whole uh, revive on. Now, in the next room, you guys already know, we're going to be taking on some Ice-type or some Dragon-type Pokemon. Yeah, this is going to be a fun battle. And, well, let's see. I do have this. Let's go right ahead and give this Never Melt Ice to our good old buddy, Jouse. Yes, we're going to be switching it out because we kind of need it. We kind of need to uh, we kind of need to do this whole thing right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Jouse is going to start off, and uh, we're going to be kicking some butt, taking some names on the next one right here. So let's go right ahead and see what's up. And well, we're getting ever so high right here. And look at this! Holy crud! This guy looks menacing. I am the last of the Pokemon League, at least four Drake, the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times, they hinder us. At times, they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what it is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. Alrighty, so here we go. It is time. It is time to take on the last of the Elite Four. I would say he's the leader, but I don't know about that. So here we go. Take it on Elite Four. Drake coming out with a shell gun right here. And, well, let's go with an Ice Beam attack, and here comes the Protect, seriously. Okay, Ice Beam, there we go, and that Nevermelt Ice does some d damage, and yes, this Pokemon has been frozen. Good gravy. Yeah, we're getting hit really, really hard, and there goes a Rough Skin for the win. Suck it. Okay, so I knew that Rough Skin would work, and, well, Hadouken grows to level 57. Now, we're going to get one more hit in because, uh, yeah. Jaws' physical defense sucks so here we go ice beam hopefully for the win and i know what you guys are thinking you kind of wasted ice beam on an inferior pokemon right here you know but guess what look at this we take <laughs> we take him down with us because it's the recoil <laughs> okay so that's two pokemon down either way we would have won because of the rough skin so let's go with hadouken all righty hadouken ready to go who is next? And he's going to bring out his Flygon. And as many of you guys already know, Flygon does have the uh, the Sandstream. Does it come with the Sandstream? And no, it doesn't. So here we go. Dragon Claw, since we are faster, we are mightier. And, well, look at this. For the win. Suck it, Flygon. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so that's another Pokemon down. And he's going to be coming out with his own Pokemon, Salamence. The first time I ever saw this Pokemon, I was like, man, why can't I have a Pokemon like this? I don't know. I really don't know. So, let's go right ahead and do another Dragon Claw for the win. And there we go. Come on. That right there should have won, but here comes a Dragon Claw from this Pokemon itself. And this is going to be bad. Okay, so, of course, they're going to heal up. Alrighty, alrighty, okay. Let's go right ahead and go with another Dragon Claw, Hadouken. Finishing off this Salamence, Hadouken. And just like that, say goodbye to that Salamence. And, well, here comes a Kingdra. Now, Kingdra is a very interesting Pokemon because it is both a water and dragon type Pokemon. Best way to defeat this Pokemon right here is to use dragon type attacks. Ice type will not work. And, well, look at this, it just survived. And here comes a Dragon Dance. This, you have to prevent, guys. You really do because, well, yeah, this Pokemon will go crazy on you. And thankfully, it's using a full restore, so that way we won't have to, like, you know, take another, uh, what was it called? Uh, another Dragon Dance. And, well, here we go again. Dragon Claw nearly defeats Dra Kingdra. So let's go one more time. And this guy is literally going for all the full restores he has. Okay, come on. Take this L like a champ. Finish it. Hadouken. And that nearly defeats Kingdra. So let's go one more time. And here comes a body slam attack. That will defeat our good old buddy Hadouken. Okay, so this is bad. This is bad. Okay, so let's go with a Pokemon that is just as fast as Kingdra. Here we go with Sage of the Halo. Strength attack. And here comes a body slam. Crap baskets. So Kingdra, yeah, it's a strong Pokemon, but not as strong, not as mighty as my Sage. There we go, throwing up the middle fingers. That's right. Take that, Aldrake. Alrighty, and thank 
man, thank goodness for that shell bell. So there we go, guys. We have defeated Drake. And superb. It should be said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fake pirate. Let's do it. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem uh, to know what it is needed. Yet, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good heart of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good heart of trainers and grow strong. Go onwards! Or go, go, onwards, whatever. The champion is waiting. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up these Pokemon because, well, we kind of need to heal up our Pokemon. And, well, the next trainer, you guys are going to be surprised because we are playing Pokemon Emerald. Things have changed. Things have changed just a little bit. And, well, we're, you know, speeding up our healing right here. So the champion of uh, this region has changed. As many of you guys would not know or, you know, would play... Uh, the champion right here happens to be Wallace. Let's go ahead and uh, rise above. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. You see the lights right here. And just in case we screw up, yes, let's go ahead and save the game because, well, <laughs> you know me. So there he is, the champion of Hoenn, Wallace. It's not Steven. It's Wallace. Welcome, Draven. That incident in Sutopolis City. That was superb uh, work. Putting an end to the crisis all year by yourself. Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended this crisis. You overcame the difficult uh, situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We trainers raise Pokemon by giving them items by teaching them new mo new techniques uh, for battle. But for we ourselves, we also learn many things from Pokemon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against that uh, uh, of what others like you have achieved. Now, who can uh, most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now. It is time. So here it is, guys. The Pokemon Emerald Champion. Wallace. If you guys did ne never ever played Pokemon, you know, or Oraz or Ruby Sapphire, you know, this guy happened to be the last gym leader. But in this game, it, things have changed. And as you guys can see, he comes out with a Waylord. Yeah, this Pokemon is a tank. So let's go with the Thunder, please. God dang it. And Water Spout just destroys us. Okay, so that's what happens when you take a risk. So let's go with Sage, Leaf Blade, Blizzard, Leaf Blade. And there we go. Don't mess with Sage. Okay, alrighty. So Waylord, that, that Pokemon is a little bit of a tank right there. So Hadouken, get some points. And here comes a Milotic. Now, Milotic is a tough Pokemon. We're going to go with Dulcine. And what we're going to do right here is call mine ourselves. And... We will be increasing our special defense just a little bit. As you guys can see, call mine. And full restore. So that call mine right there is going to make this uh, surf not that great. Look at that. Okay, so let's go with one more call mine. And let's go full restore. So we got three call mines. Time to go with the psychic attack. And this guy right here is going to go with a toxic. So here we go, psychic attack. That right there takes a, a huge chunk out of this Pokemon, so yes, full restores, and it looks like to me we're going to have to max out this Calm Mine, and full restore, Toxic, eat this, and that right there lowers this Pokemon's special defense, but we'll use a Citrus Berry. Now we're going to have to heal up again because, yes, Toxic will, in will increase the or decrease our HP a lot more and here we go with another surf now thanks to the whole you know decrease special attack or defense psychic will have a little bit more of a zing uh, zip to it and well there we go Milotic defeated alrighty Dalsim ever so powerful meditating and all that stuff Hadouken grows to level 58 and here comes Tentacruel, my favorite Pokemon of them all because, well, guess what? <laughs> Time to feel it. Psychic attack. And, well, here comes a Sludge Bomb. Holy buckets. This will not be... Uh, nearly makes us faint. Oh, my lord. So here we go. Psychic attack. For the win. Suck it, Tentacruel. Suck it. Okay, alrighty. So there we go, another win. And here comes Ludicolo. Now... This is going to be an interesting thing because Ludicolo is not that strong, but it is beefy. So let's go right ahead and go with a full restore. And take another psychic attack. 
Here we go. Psychic attack. And that nearly defeats this guy. Now, we gotta beat Ludicolo quick because, yes, Double Team is going to try and make us fa- like, uh, well, it's gonna make us miss this. And, well, it looks like it's just the- it's the Dull Seam show because, yes, Dull Seam is just kicking some butt with all its might right here. That's right, let's go with another Calm Mind. That's right, we're gonna be even more powerful. Okay, here's another special attack, a defense, and an earthquake attack. Now, I wonder if this is a special attack. Could be wrong. And... okay. Let's go with a psychic. Time to feel this. And... four times... Nearly beats this guy, and well... Our luck has run out, because Dalsim will be fainting right here, but it actually knocked out the most of his team, so... Let's go straight for Sage of the Halo. One good attack right here will actually heal him up just a little bit with that Shell Bell. And, well, Whiskash wanting to use that, uh, or, what was his name? Yeah, uh, whatever his name is, wanting to use a full restore. So here we go, Leaf Blade for the win. Four times damage. Eat it. Eat a big old pile of mud. That's right. And look at this. Okay, so we're getting healed up just a little bit more. Now, who is the last Pokemon he wants us to take on? And he's going to be coming out with a Gyarados. Now, Gyarados is a very interesting Pokemon. It will try and lower your uh, physical attack with its Intimidate. So, two can play, two can play uh, you know, the same game right here, if I said it right. So, we're both Intimidating. That's right, we're Intimidating. We're at equal ground right here. All right, I have a feeling that this Gyarados right here is going to have a move... Crap baskets. There we go. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so there we go. It's poisoned badly. We're gonna fly. It is increasing its attack ever so slightly. And here it goes with the poison. So there we go. Hitting it with the dragon dance. Okay, so this Pokemon is unstoppable. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna be doing right here. Let's go right ahead and hit it with a fly attack. That's gonna hit it. And okay, so. Here comes a Hyper Beam attack, and that right there will mess us up, so it is... It can't attack for one a turn. So... Shoot baskets, okay. Let's go with Sage of the Halo since we're strong enough. And... It's hurt by poison. Let's finish it off. Nearly beats it. Strength, and it must recharge. Throwing out the peace sign, we win! Suck it, Wallace! So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. I think Gyarados did four, maybe five, Dragon Dance. He could have annihilated all our team, but no, we won. Strategy. Science. That's right, Draven has changed his ways, and yes, I, the champion, fall in defeat! That was wonderful work! You were elegant, infuriating so, and yet it was utter glorious. Huh, kudos to you, Draven. You are truly a noble, po a noble Pokemon trainer. Yes. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, this is kind of like the second most amazing way we've beaten this guy. If you guys, uh, if you guys have been with me that long, I know one of you has, but if you guys remember how we defeated him with a Tentacruel and we, we were left with one HP and one final move, man, that was the most incredible victory ever. Too bad I had to delete those videos, but yes, we have defeated Wallace. That's right. How's it feel to fail? The Pokemon you sent into battle. At times they dance like a spring breeze and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light, that sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful re uh, performance. You now stand at, you now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you the new Hoenn region. And before he says anything, Draven, here's some advice before you challenge the champion. And well, she just notices that yeah, yeah, we kind of defeated him already, so my bad. Huh? What? 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 Draven, could it be that? It's already over? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. See, what did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you that uh, you don't need to worry about Draven? Draven, you're finally, you finally done it! When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Petalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you actually became a Poke the champion. Ah, yes. What became of the Pokedex? Here, let me see. Hmm. So you've seen 166 Pokemon, and you've caught 120 of them. You should get some more Pokemon by trading with others. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Draven, now let me rephrase that properly. 
the new champion. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but from here on, only those who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Aww. I'm just joking. That's okay. That's that's the rule. Draven, honestly, congratulations. That's right. Oh, uh, yes, we win. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Wow, can't even say things right. Come on, let's record your name as the trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who we ba who battled with you. And there we go, guys. We are in we are including our Pokemon. They are forever now champions of this Hoenn region. That's right. You respect the title. You respect me. Because I am the Pokemon League champion of Hoenn yet again. For like the 17th time ever. So there we go. We got Raiden finally becoming a champion. Our boy Dalsim taking a few L's, but he managed to win this whole thing. And well, here we got, you know, this guy, Jaus. And then, yes, Sage of the Halo. And, uh, yeah, good old Salamence, Hadouken. And this guy himself, Vesuvius. Yes, we are the Pokemon League champion. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, put this, uh, yes, fantastic, mantastic of a man. Look at this. Sexy you-know-what. That's right. Sexy bitch. Okay, Pokemon League champion. 76 uh, hours. Although it's not really the, the amount of hours, you know, speed button and all that stuff. Anywho, let's go ahead and press that A button. Whew! Alrighty, so the dialogue as always, guys. It's always interesting on what, what's next in our adventure. So, yeah. Phase 3. Never thought that we would be going through this, and yeah, we went through it. Um, I remember exactly this time last year, we went in, got ourselves a studio, and we all know what happened from there. But I decided that, you know what, maybe I should redo some of these games and make them a lot better. Because you guys already know I'm a perfectionist in every sense of the, uh, the word. Um, so, in saying that, yes, we're going to continue our adventure right here because, you know, I like playing the older games. I like, you know, I like redoing some stuff and I really like to showcase some of the things that, you know, I could do better on. And, you know, I, I, I see that many of you guys are liking it. My subscriber count shows, and uh, the views the views also show too. Eventually, I really I'm really not one of those guys that cares about how much views or how many views we get. So, anywho, we will be continuing our adventure, going into the Sinnoh region in Pokemon Platinum. Now that we have the speed button, this will be enabled. Now I just got to fix a few things just to make that happen. Uh, we will we will be continuing our adventure in Heart Gold as well. And you know what? We might be doing a little something on the side, just to make sure to get ready for a future walkthrough later on and all that stuff. But yes, we will be continuing our adventure right here, guys, because uh, we're, not, we're not completely done, okay? We captured three legendaries. We still have three more to go. We have to defeat Steven, and uh, we have to go into the Battle Frontier and check that shit out before, you know, eventually I bite the bullet or something like that. But yes, nevertheless, we're going to go there. Uh, we're going to do some legendaries. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to be doing the legendary, like the event Pokemon. I just might be grabbing the videos I had for the original Emerald version and just putting them right here. It's that thing. But, uh, let's see. Is there anything else I need to talk about before we continue on? Um, yeah. So, going into this next thing, we're going to be capturing Pokemon, and I'm going to be using some Pokemon from the Pokemon Fire Red version and all that stuff, doing some trades, and then showing some stuff that we need to do before we finish off this walkthrough completely. Uh, like I said, we will be continuing our adventure going into the Sinnoh region. So, just keep an eye out for all that stuff. When that will happen, I do not know. It's probably going to be when we completely finish this walkthrough. Other than that, guys, um, thank you guys again for being supportive. Thank you guys again for being as patient as always. We will be continuing our adventure right here onto my channel. If you guys have any more suggestions, down below, you know, comment down below. See you guys. <laughs>